Magenta. Are you ready? Are you sure you are ready? Welcome, Welcome to Mozambique! So the whole crossing the border from South Africa into Mozambique through the Limpombo border took us around 15 minutes. That was a great day and we entered around 9 o'clock in the morning on a weekday. So tip if you are coming to Mozambique. Mozambican Meticals or South African Rand or United States Dollars. Guys, if you are traveling in Mozambique and you want to go up north, you must look out for this. It's called the Ring Road. As you saw the sign there, it showed Shai Shai to the left. If you want to go through Maputo, you can also do that. Then you just continue straight on. But we want to take the shorter today. We have been through Maputo a few times. So we're going to take this left here on the ring road to take us to the north. Explorers, listen up. About 5 kilometers after the turn off onto the ring road, you will get a toll gate like the one you see on screen. The cost is 40 meticash, but very important, you need to keep the slip. Then you continue on for another 12 kilometers, and you will get another big cross intersection. Just keep left on the slipway again and follow the signs that say Shai Shai. Then you are on the N1 going north in Mozambique. You then get the next toll gate, but at this one you can just show the slip from the first one. They will stamp it and you can continue without paying. When you turn off the N1 at Messia towards Belen, about 11 kilometers down the road you will find another toll gate. This is the only one on this road and it's 50 meter gauge. Then it's just another 22 kilometers to enter paradise. There is a 500 meter gravel road from Belen to San Martino, but it is easy accessible with a normal vehicle. Okay, okay, before you get too excited to see this awesome accommodation, let me introduce you to all the characters on this trip. You gotta get into the, the Explorer, Big Joe. The Passenger Princess, Skippy. The Mysterious, Beemeister. The Lightbender, Papa P. The Ricer, Speedy. Guys and welcome to San Martino. We are staying in Villa Praia, room number 37H. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom. Come, let's show you. So this unit has a very nice kitchen, stylist, fridge, microwave, and then the three bedrooms. On this side there's two single beds, and then there's a a bathroom over here that's communal for these two rooms. This room has a nice big double bed. And you have your lounge over here with a very nice view of the lagoon. And on this side there's a room with an ensuite with a nice double bed, ensuite bathroom, and all the rooms have aircons on. So in the summer it gets nice and hot here. This place looks amazing. We can't wait to stay here. This place is amazing, right? On the day we arrived, it was very windy, as you can see on this coconut weather station. But it was still amazing just being here. So let me tell you more about this gem, right here on the Belen Lagoon. San Martino Beach Club has a 1.3 km white sand beachfront for you to enjoy on your stay. The next morning we started exploring. The wind was a bit better, but it made vlogging difficult as you can only hear the wind blowing. So I decided to do this voiceover so you can see this amazing place with all the awesome activities while I tell you about our experience here.
There are two pools with amazing views and a games room right next to it to entertain the whole family. They offer a boatload of activities to cater for all ages, from water sports to canoeing and even a brilliant mini golf course. For the people that just want to break away, there's even a beachfront spa. So for those that didn't know, San Martino is divided into two sections, the San Martino Beach Club and the San Martino Hotel. The hotel has this breathtaking infinity pool with a seat in the middle of it and all the rooms overlook the pool and an amazing lagoon view. On the property is the complex restaurant, sand bar and lounge cafe where you can enjoy great meals or even your favorite drink. Later that afternoon, the competition was on as we played a round of mini golf. Spoiler alert, I won! Okay, so let me give you some quick info on where to get everything in Belen town. Handling is definitely a one-stop shop for soft drinks, Toys M and R&R mixes. For meat you can stop at Gaza Beef just before Masia, link will be down below, or you can stop at the Talo Beach Butchery in town to stock up. The local stalls in town sell all the fruit and veg you might need. For snacks and other goodies, hit up the local supermarket. On this channel we have a whole series on Belen and what there is to do. We'll also link the playlist down below for you to watch. We are ending the day here at Just In Time Coconut Bar with a beautiful sunset. And if Mozambique was on your shortlist, we hope this video convinced you. Remember guys, subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes as we are going to a place we have never been to before. And remember... Explore more!